Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. So, tonight we have a video about Eugenia Cooney. If eating disorder talking triggers you, please find another video of mine. There's so many different other ones that don't discuss topics like this, so you might want to check that out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, if you don't know who Eugenia Cooney is, I made a video a couple videos back. Go ahead and check that out. That'll help you get a little bit familiarized with what's going on. So, Eugenia Cooney, about a year ago, was Sha Shane Dawson made a documentary, which I think it totally did more harm than good, and Eugenia's recovery was a forced recovery. Her friends did an intervention on her. Her mother called the police. It was a whole big thing, and that's why a lot of people think, it, under suspicion, that her mother is part of this. She lives with her family, and it's just so unheartening that a mother could sit back and watch you know, their child, which, you know, I'm saying child is a mother. Eugenia is 26 years old, and people have had enough of this. She's doing this whole posit, uh, toxic positivity thing. We're going to read her community tab here in a minute, but I don't see how a mother could sit back and see her child literally wilting away into nothing. And when I use the phrase, I'm talking as a mother. Um, you know, I know she's an adult. So, I don't see how this mother can set why this... Uh, girl, it's literally litter, wither, withering away into nothing. Each week, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Uh, her latest video, we're going to check out. We're not going to watch all of it because it just literally made me mad, to be honest with you. I know that Eugenia has um, a lot going on, obviously, but it's starting to run over into the situation that she's perceiving this and making... Um, her younger audience think it's okay. She has a lot of younger audience. I've seen throughout the comments, I want to be like you. I want to be skinny like you. And I just think that that is ridiculous to promote things like this. It's like she's pro-eating disorder. I hate to say it. She made a comment and a Twitch a couple live streams back that, hey, recovery isn't for everyone. It's like she's completely just promoting a horrible message like this is okay. If something doesn't happen, unfortunately, I definitely think this is going to take a turn for the worst. I mean, each video, she's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. There's also a couple videos that she's kind of been talking and she almost freezes up. And then it's like, obviously, you know, when you don't have auction going to the brain, she'll kind of like, um... And, like, try to play it off. Like, oh, sorry, you guys, I coughed. When you can kind of see her eye movement, it's like... It's, she's not getting enough oxygen to the brain. Pretty much that's what I gather. In no means am I a medical or in the medical field, but it's like she catches herself and she's like, ooh. Like, it's almost like she blacks out for a minute or is about to seize, and she tries to catch it like she's coughing. So, yes, I know this is, I was going for the Al Alvira, but I look kind of like a crazy Tina Turner mixed with Gene Simmons. So, if you're new to my channel... This is for Halloween, and uh, yeah, it didn't turn out as planned, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. We do a lot over here, hence the word Kaya Simon's life. We do food, reviews, reacts, hauls, the train wrecks, uh, the weight gains community, a little bit of everything. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Tea, news, drama, a little bit in between, dog stuff. If you ever see my tripod shake, I have two dogs. So let's go ahead and read her community tab here. And man, you guys, I had to comment because it's it's like she's perceiving this. It's like a toxic positivity. Um, this is the picture. Let me click off my ring light here. Um, I'm not tech savvy if you're new to my channel, but um, let me see if you can see. I know it's kind of glary, but here is, I mean, look at this. Horrible. Um, let's see. It looks like... Okay, no, she didn't change the picture. Here we go. Let me see if I can get it without a glare here. Well, you'll get the gist here in the um, video we're about to see. So, this is what she... Um, it's better... See, she's received a lot of backlash. She had a bunch of... Um, 
um, child predators as mods. She's received a lot of backlash. She took a little bit of a break, but I think it was just the backlash of the whole predator mod thing. And then with the mod thing, she just simply told the girl, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Call the police if you need to. I know Eugene is very sheltered, but it was handled very poorly, in my opinion. And these are all, all my opinions, just to let you know, you know, these are only my opinions. It's better to be hated for being yourself rather than being liked as someone you're not. First off, nobody hates her. You're getting this backlash because you're promoting this, like I just said, to a younger audience. People want to see you do better. And basically, Eugenia is kind of like an Amberlynn, a foodie beauty, a life by Jen, an Amy's life journey. Um, any kind of criticism that doesn't go her way, everyone is haters. So that's kind of where this comes into play. So um, other than that, let's see. Yeah. Starving is not an identity. No one hates you. People fear for your life. We care for you. You deserve help. 1K likes. Nobody hates you. People speak of love and concern. Get well. Get healthy. You're beautiful. Sometimes you are your own worst enemy. I mean, it, it just goes on and on. And, and everyone's saying the same things. But everybody is truly getting frustrated. I mean, look at this. I mean... If you can see, well, it's in her community post, but she's sitting in a tree at a graveyard. I mean, it, it, she does this fall haul that we're going to check out. And first off, none of the clothes are fall. Um, in my opinion, it. These are all summer clothes. I know she lives out west in California, but these are just things that. I'm not saying, like, they look terrible. They don't fit. You're going to see here in a second. They're all more like a summer thing. They look like younger to me. It's like she's stunted in this, like, teenage emo, like, her mother, It's it seems to me it's like her mother is really, every time somebody calls, um, it's like, oh, they're swatting me. People have called the cops for a wellness check, and then her mother, and then they come, and the cops leave, and nothing. But I guess there's a law that Obama put out that somebody called that if there is a situation with the eating disorder, they can be taken in. But she has mentioned in the past with her, she said it was very traumatic what her friends did to her, and, and I'm sure it was rattling, but... They were only doing it, she genuinely doesn't see that it was for the love and kind to try and help her. She took it the complete opposite way. She would not talk to Jacqueline Glenn or anyone that had to do with the intervention. But on this note, let's go ahead and get started with the, um, now, like I said, this is very, 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 it, it's terrible. I'm just going to give you a heads up. It, it's horrible, but we're going to not watch the whole thing, but we're going to take a couple minutes of it, but it is absolutely nothing fits. It's all crop tops. It's all skimpy, skimpy. It looks horrible. I'm not trying to sound, but it looks bad. Um, I wanted to mention too, there is 4,600 and some change thumbs down. 1,700 um, and some change thumbs up. So the like to dislike ratio is definitely went against favor. And it's like I said, people are getting sick of her, you know, promoting this to younger audience. A lot of people have said, you know, if you're not going to change, and this is my opinion too, make your channel over 18 and quit promoting this to a younger audience. I don't think she's going to change unless something drastic happens. It's only getting worse. So... Let's go ahead without further ado. Um, yeah. So, I guess when I bought these outfits, I guess I was thinking, like, it's almost fall time. It's a good time to buy new clothes and stuff. So, all of these clothes just came from a store called Ella. So, who thinks of neon outfits in the fall? I think of browns, mustards, oranges, blacks, you know, even gray. But, who thinks of neon, like... 
all this is all crop tops. It's all shorts. It's all very revealing. Like, and I mean, it's to each their own style, but it looks terrible. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, I've talked about them in like other videos and stuff before. I buy a lot from their store. And I think also where it's like fall time, there was a pretty big sale going on. So perfect time to buy new clothes. So this is the first one. and this No structure kind of like at all really on her bones. Shirt. And I don't know. I've talked about this in other videos too. I've just been like really into this kind of like yellow, lime green color. I just think it's a really cool kind of bright like neon -y color. I also really like the style of the shirt. Kind of like with the cut out here. So that's how this looks on. She has lost, and I'm not saying this to be mean, she has lost all her breast structure. I mean, there's no meat or muscle on the arms. It's a different, you know, between being skinny and looking sickly, not to be mean. Like, this looks sickly to me. Um, Eugenia always comes up with this thing about her BMI. My BMI is always low. I'm skinny. Yes, she's a small, structured girl, but there's clearly something going on here. Just like I said before, if you haven't seen my video where she does cooking with her mom, I think that was just to get her around food. It was just a ploy her and her mom did to try and shun away and get the comments back positive. And it's not going to work. It's not. And then with this, I actually have on a pair of super, super ripped, like, black pants here. And I really like these guys. Honestly, a lot of the time, I don't really wear pants. I wear more kind of, like, skirts or shorts. But I do really like, like, ripped pants when they're, like, really ripped. This pair I thought was perfect because, yeah, they're just black. I like black pants, too. And sorry about the price tags, by the way. I still haven't, like, removed the price tags. So that's this outfit. Like, so I'm duh. Why would you... Everybody tries on the clothes then. Like, she's always apologetic for these silliest little things. Coming up, she leaves, like, a shirt on under another. She's like, oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie. I did comment, and I said, nobody cares about these clothes. Nobody cares. You're promoting this to a younger audience. It's got 84 thumbs up. I said, nobody... Eugenia needs to take accountability. Eugenia is 26 years old. She's not a baby. Like I said, make the channel over 18. Quit trying to pull in this younger audience. Her cosplay she did a couple weeks ago was absolutely ridiculous. I'm just kind of wearing the same pair of I mean, another now. crop Still top. Super ripped pair. Um, but I switched tops. This top is actually very, very similar to the other top that I just showed you guys. And it's pretty much just like the same style, only this one is obviously in a different color. If you took and, away the um, hair, there would be I nothing really left. Too. I thought this was also really, really cute. And as you guys can see, it's kind of like a blue and yellow and kind of like a darker blue tie-dye. And I don't really have like that much tie-dye. And I noticed that on the left side this time, like when I was looking at it. It's kind of strange were... too. It's like if you see her bedroom we'll, i'll show you here in a minute it's all very like baby pink which there's you guys know i'm a girly girl too but it's very kind of eerie it's like and there's nothing wrong with stuffed animals i guess i need to try and phrase better what i'm saying it's very kitty like there's a baby rocking chair like it's very eerie to me it's like she did a video a while back where she was like people were having her climb around on the floor like people were having you do that like the pervs like she's just so like sheltered and just so she's stuck in this little bubble of just this room she buys all this stuff but yet she doesn't go anywhere i mean look at these clothes you can't wear this to a fancy restaurant or a night like well i mean excuse me she's not going to a restaurant but it just these clothes give off very and like i said each their own i wear a lot of summer stuff too you know shorter stuff and crop tops and things but it, it's just very i don't know it's it's very teeny bopper and there's nothing wrong you know let me rephrase it's just you'll see what i mean there's just very i don't know a lot of different kind of like really cute tie-dye stuff so i thought that i'd buy this one so this next up this might be is the worst from everything that i bought so let me pause she said this is her favorite but in my opinion this one looks the absolute worst it does not fit it's hanging on her it looks 
terrible. I'm sorry. So this is the next outfit, guys. This outfit I think is so cool. It's black, as you guys can see. It has all these kind of like pins kind of scattered throughout it. And I thought this was such a cool style. I just really, really love the style of this. And the shorts are kind of the same thing. They're also super ripped, which I also love. They're just like super nice. They it looks like terrible. Them. I'm have sorry. All these super cool pins. And then um, the bottom is also kind of ripped. I just really, really love the style of these. It's like, I love ripped things. And then I also like love all these pins. I feel like I haven't really seen too many shirts or like too many like shorts or anything that are kind of like in this style. Yeah guys, so that is this outfit. This is the next outfit. This outfit I thought was really cute. I really love this tie-dye top. I think the tie-dye colors <laughs> in this are so pretty. The tie-dye top looks like a sports bra, literally. It, I mean, like I said, there's nothing wrong. These are great summer clothes, but do you get fall vibes? Because I don't. It looks first off like an undershirt, a sports bra, something I'd wear under a tank top or, you know, outside walking, exercising. It's kind of like I'm a light not... blue and then also some kind of like purple pink in this. I think it's a really cute top to wear. The back of it is also pretty cool too. It kind of has like rings in the back. Oh, Shorts, shorts do not fit. So It's so almost like cute. a life by, uh, excuse me, Amy's life journey or something. Like, she just constantly, do, 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 do. and it's like, sometimes she loses me. I'm like, whoo, like, what? What'd you say now? Like, I'm lost. It's just, do, 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 do. I mean, uh. And yeah, I really don't have a lot of denim jackets, and I just thought this one would be the perfect one to buy for me. Also, with this outfit, or I think with probably a lot of other outfits too, I ended up also finding a really cool pair of shoes on their site. These are Jeffrey Campbell pair of shoes. I love Jeffrey Campbell shoes. LF sells like a lot of cool Jeffrey Campbell shoes in their store or on their website and everything. So I loved this pair. I thought this was such a cool pair of boots. They're actually really soft, like really nice material too. I'm just gonna put these on real quick and then- How are those gonna off. fit her calf? I think that's so cool. This is the pair of shoes guys. I mean- T-shirts like this kind of that are also from a lot that are kind of similar. But I always really like to buy, I guess, a good amount of these because I think they're really cute. Wait a second, guys. Okay, that's embarrassing. I think I forgot to take the other shirt off somehow. So give me a second. Okay, so now I'm actually just wearing this shirt by itself. And this like that's another thing I commented like not to be mean. Like what's embarrassing is none of this fits. Uh, you seen, like I said, it looked like a sports bra. You couldn't even tell that it was underneath. Like, big deal. You left the shirt on underneath. Like, I'm surprised. I think this is the only thing that's not crop top. This specifically, I think, is really cool. I have another one that's kind of like Sorry, this, but this one is a bit different. has, like, some differences with, with that one for sure. This one, I really, really loved kind of, like, the top here with all these cool, like, holes or cutouts or whatever you want to call those. I don't know how much of this you guys can see, but there actually is, like, little holes kind of, like, scattered throughout this a bit. There are kind of, like, little holes in this. And then the bottom is super cute, too. You can see that. It kind of looks like, I don't know, it's just, I guess, kind of like that same, just 
kind of like ripped the look. Yeah, it's all kind of like stylized there, just kind of like cut open and everything. And it's pretty long, it's almost like a dress because I actually have shorts on underneath here too, guys. I mean, it's not a dress, but it's kind of like one of those shirts where it's like a shirt, but it's like, you know, long enough to be a dress, I guess. <laughs> like, so, you know. this is another pair of shorts also that I bought from my left. This pair, I also think are super cute. As you guys can see, these are also like a tie-dye pair, but kind of like a darker, different color tie-dye. That's why I thought I would wear it with this, even though I know you don't even really see them together. But, you know, I thought it was darker. I thought it would go good together. Kind of like a little bit of like a ripped bottom there. And yeah, I just really love the colors. I think that these are so you guys. This one is... It's oh, kinda, this is the worst one. Yeah, this is what I'm... Can you I imagine? I mean, some of this stuff this is guys, just... This is the next outfit. And this is horrible, this is too. This back to more tie-dye. Also kind of like those first couple of shirts that I showed you guys. This one is basically in the same style. It's another tie-dye one. And Gotta have the really belly showing. I like the colors in this one a lot. This one kind of has a lot of like pink and This skirt and looks and terrible, like not to be mean. Like that. I'm not sure which one's my favorite of these that I got of like these kind of style shirts, but but I definitely do like this one. I like the other two a lot. So um yeah, so this is basically just another shirt kind of like in that same style with all the tie-dye covers everywhere and all of that. And then the skirt that I'm wearing with this, I don't know if these really go that good together. So this is a really cool skirt that I got from LF2. As you guys can see, this is kind of like a blue, kind of like latexy skirt. And I thought that was super cute. Like I really love um the style of this. It's pretty like high-waisted as you guys can probably see and i thought this is really cool with this kind of like crossover tie thing and then also the zipper i love like the zipper in this the whole style of this i thought was really cute and i also really like like this bright blue color and all right guys so yeah it's like almost, and, I, and I'm not saying any of this to be mean. I'm truly not. I'm just honestly voicing, sorry, my lights are getting back used to, or my eyes are getting used to lights, but it's like if you didn't know, like, she almost looks like she's on drugs. Like, she looks like somebody that's almost, like, been on a bad drug bender. Like, I don't know, you guys. Something, it, it's like, you know... It, this is crazy to be promoting this to it. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, she addresses the discord situation, trying Jeffree Star, cutting her hair. I think the, let's take a peek here hey, at the cosplay. So it's, today I'm going to be doing a, I mean, this stuff literally is just hanging on her literally. I mean, it's literally hanging. Let's take a look at the cosplay right quick, you guys, and then we will wrap it up for the day. But, yeah, this is just getting out of hand. Like, sorry, I'm trying to pull you guys up here. Okay, this is the Jinx cosplay transformation and makeup tutorial. This is another video that caught of a lot of attention. It has a lot of views. Um... Yeah, I don't want to read a lot, like, it, it's just same stuff. Eugenia, I'm so sorry, but this is my goodbye. I followed you for years <clears throat> through my worst times. I mean, it's just, yeah, let's check it out. I mean, the stuff is literally hanging. Jinx cosplay from League of Legends. Jinx has always been, like, my favorite League of Legends champion, and I've been wanting to cosplay her for a really long time now, so I thought it was time that I finally did it. I've also heard a lot of you guys even kind of, like, suggest to me that I do a Jinx cosplay. I just thought it was finally time. That's what I'm doing today. All right, I guess I'm just going to start by kind of, like, showing like, you guys. Like, really, who is requesting this other than the creepers or the younger audience i don't see anybody requesting you know this is like another amber and oh it's highly requested i don't see anybody in the comments anybody in the community tab requesting these cosplays this whole cosplay and everything and then i'll also show you like just kind of how i did my makeup to be jinx flashback this makeup might not be like Her. I'll probably do this like makeup her in a video pretty quickly and then okay. just kind of talk to you guys about my cosplay. Yeah, well, guys, like it was kind of big and just kind of nice, just in case anything were to like you know ever go wrong or anything. It also has like her gloves and her.
I mean, the gloves clearly don't fit. Any heart for Leaf fans? Because I know like the Leaf fans can get very intense sometimes. So I am aware that I messed up some of this and that I don't probably have like this glove on the right arm and all of that. And also that I think I put all the time. This is this girl's biggest worry right now is she's doing a cosplay and the glove is on the wrong hand. Honey. And also, I don't even know if I got them all in the right place. Like, I tried. So I have it, like, on the chest. I have it in, like, her stomach area and, like, arm and everything. But I know, I, I think they're supposed to go on the right side. I haven't worn, like, temporary tattoos in, like, forever. Like, when I was really young, I used to wear, like, Powerpuff Girl temporary tattoos. That I was kind of like, what do I do? Like, do I put water on with this? Uh, which it turns out that was the case. Yeah, I guess I maybe just brushed it a little it's too It's like she oh, uses her know. hair too her hair is her main like she totally uses the hair to hide and the hair is like her thing also a lot of people were saying that in the hair getting her hair cut she literally got like that much cut off and they were saying that they think it was just like to a lot of people say that she's losing her hair because of what's going on with the situation and yeah so I don't know, you guys. I don't. I literally really wish that she would truly get it together. Um, do I think she's going to get it together? Unfortunately, I just don't. I really don't. I think that, you know, something bad is going to happen. And, excuse me, sorry. It's going to take something. And then I think if she would get, you know, something happen, she would get back out and it would be the same thing. So, all right, you guys, please leave comments. I'm like thinking, is everybody else think, you know, I, I think it's time to stop promoting this. I think she needs to take a step back. You know, it's, it's time to, you're 26 years old. You need to take accountability. If you're not going to take it for yourself, at least take it for the younger people you could be influencing. So make sure you leave me a cut, like, leave me, let me know what you think about this situation. Um, I hope this video stays up. I know that, you know, things have been very weird with people making videos about her. Some of them have seemed to get taken down. So, hopefully this stays out. Like I said, if you're not familiar with Eugenia, I have made a video before this. And I will talk to you guys later. We're going to keep an eye on this, but... I only check in just once in a while. I don't watch every video because I cannot continue to support this. So, my name is Kaya. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Great night, depending on when you're watching this. And we're going to keep our eyes on this. But, I don't know, guys. I don't. So, I love you guys. And I'll see you later. Have a great day. Great night. Kaya out.